Hey everyone, Patel Skater here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to discuss the terms, dimensions, I get very, very cringy for the thousandth billion time when I get on YouTube. I noticed physically that I dim my entire identity as well as my energy and who it is that I really am. My conscious voice is much higher and stronger than this. And my divinity is beyond this world. Now this is not to brag. This is to teach different dimensions, the meanings, and what this so-called life is all about. Cringy.net. On YouTube land, as I like to scroll from time to time, I like to watch certain favorite people, you can say, that still live in dimensions so-called 3D in Hollywood, performing, you can say. If we take a look at the situations in reality currently, and I'm pitching a little bit because we're talking about the 3D right now, and we're going to go high up to infinity. Since this channel passed the 3D realm a long time ago, it's exhausting to continue indulging in these conversations. And when I say exhausting, I sincerely mean you watching must evolve. Everything that we're going to talk about today is scientific. It has nothing to do with personality, identity, structure, or belief systems of you being human. So let's start from the 3D. You see, the normal average human eyes is very conditioned to only believe that it's human. These sirens outside must mean that there's an ambulance and something's going on, for example. All sorts of scenarios. We have been so-called we programmed a long time ago to only see three dimension. Currently in the three dimensional world, all of our favorite celebrities and even physical people are morphing into something very shrinky, unrecognizable, very plastic on the face somehow. But they are all morphing into this one dimensional monkey like, excuse me, very, I don't like to judge. But if we're going to talk, we're going to keep it real. My fellow 3D dimensional people are always somewhat wearing red as they're presenting the D. They are all showing up on social media with the color red. They are all presenting to us, to themselves, and to the world who they are so-called in their eyes worshipping. Three dimensional beings are fallen, gone. Monkey sound, monkey do. Monkey outfits, monkey behavior. Very, very shrinkage of the physical form. Now, today, science. Shrinkage of the physical form. 
not just the Red Crew, but many, 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 many people worldwide. Now I tend to get very cringy and shrink, and that is my responsibility to take care of that on my own behind the camera. Perhaps someday I will feel 100% comfortable to be who I really am with my high, 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 high conscious voice and my non-emotional face, perhaps. But when I teach these things, it's important for me to nitpick at every dimension and what it means to be 3D, 4D, 5D, and beyond. It saddens me that this education is not properly informed online these days. I don't want to speak of any spiritual names of spiritual teachers, but it is disappointing to see how they all stay in the namaste land or just talking about being calm and being present. Very delusional crap. Okay. Cheers. My channel is science-based. <clears throat> My channel is all about consciousness. If you actually take a look and notice, it's never about personality, identity, or ego. In the 3D realm, many still watching, live through the personality entity now. Let's dive back into this title. Everything is molecules in the air. Everything is negative and positive. Everything is how you perceive your current state of consciousness. You consciousness, not the mind. You consciousness, not the ego personality or your age or your gender. Our so-called 3D beings are falling into a mental heavy, heavy duty construct where they are so brain fart, like people are farting all over their brain and they are physically shrinking and literally looking like animals. Now, when we go up 4D, let's start going up. And when we go up, we're going scientifically here. Again, this is not your usual spiritual channel. When people say that they went up 4D, people, we're still talking about personalities. They have a belief system concept in their head that, yes, I am consciousness now. I am spiritual. I am the power of now. And they believe, for instance, the belief system, for example, I really don't like to mention any names and I'm not going to. But spiritual teachers tell you to be present and be consciousness. Live in the now, of course. But there is more to these dimensions. When you live in the now as consciousness, you are consciousness, which means what? 
You are no longer human, the identity, the personality, your past belief systems, your friends' opinions. You see, let's start fresh. I don't want to confuse anybody. This topic specifically today is all science-based. So picture what I'm saying to you. The entire galaxy is one consciousness. Myself, yourself, and many other are walking energies. In the galaxy, in the field of the one unit that will forever and ever and ever and ever experience itself in all forms as we discussed on my last upload God science comes in this place when my fellow murderers and rapists are killing and murdering on a daily basis and everybody wants to flaunt their face on TV and call them celebrities and whatnot Lower dimensional beings are living as the identity, very negative, opinion-based, religious-based, evil, good, Jesus Christ, all types of other religions as well, as you can see, as you can see. Everybody's talking about the wars, for example, in my beloved country. Don't even want to say it that way because it's not my beloved country, you see? But we shall keep going up consciously. Yes? In level two, when my homie narks, constantly need fuel to exist because they need source, energy, you see? Everything is energy. My fellow narcs need fuel to exist. Where do they get fuel from? Thoughts, feelings, and emotions. About being human. Oh, am I pretty? Am I smart? Am I gonna get validation? Stuff like that. Narcissists will feed off of that state of consciousness without a problem. Let's step up level three. We have all the 3D beings on YouTube bombarding you with narcissistic videos, repeating the exact same word sentences out of their 3D vocabulary. Repeating the exact same thing like there's no tomorrow. If you look at all the 3D beings on YouTube who teach about narcissism, what do they all have in common? No offense to them. No energy. They lack substance of self. They all remain in the 3D doing what? Now let's get back to dimensions. Science. This is a conscious field. Most bodies stay as a person in the 3D. Now this is crucial for you to understand why dimensions, the term D's, D's. Dimensions is no joke. Dimensions is science-based. It's energy-based. It's your vision based. It's how much you lack an ego or attain an ego. But ego is just another word. It's just another belief system, isn't it? Like everything else in the cosmos. 
thoughts, feelings, and emotions. In the 3D world, when we have human beings, I can't even call them human beings. Can we please stop calling people human? Nobody's human. Everybody is energy. The higher you go up in dimensions, the more you see it and the more the illusion. Okay, let's just step here in 3D and then we'll go up and then we'll talk about the illusion. When you're a 3D being and everything is completely separated and you see people and you call them by name, you greet them, shaking their hand, giving them a hug, having these mundane conversations with one another. Hey, what'd you eat at the store? Hey, hey, was your uh, plane on time today? Was your train on time today? Stuff like that. Now, when the 3D people communicate, let's get back to science here. When the physical energy is standing there talking about time or talking about something external, yeah, wow. Cheers to you for a second. When the 3D people live in this very, very, very low state of consciousness where they are literal bodies, 24 hours a day, the job, the family, the food, whatever, <sighs> okay? I, I really, I, I just like, I just die when I talk about the 3D, I swear to God. It's a life based off of pure belief systems that the mind is basically completely pregnant with. Ego, personality, name, age, job, time, distance, people, stuff. There's a lot going on in the 3D world. And also that's why they shrink. They age fast. They die from diseases. I spoke about that many times. Now these diseases, let's talk about that. These diseases come from these douchebags always watching commercials believing in a lot of stuff that happened to them let's say they get a cut now they have all types of negative thoughts about it they literally consume it they project it onto themselves they talk about age very often in the 3d world they talk about women aging they talk about how to wash your downstairs for god's sake on uh, like you, you'll see it popping up you know on your uh, nowadays nowadays Nowadays, the type of insa insane, let, let me rephrase that, the type of insanity that is constantly being uploaded on the YouTube space nowadays from the 3D world is absolutely repulsive. These people down there are roaches. Roaches. You can see it in their eyes. You can see it in their form. And there is a huge addiction in labeling people nowadays. And as you can see, they're all turning into objects. Very, very strong objects. So now, when we talk about the galaxy and dimensions, let's start going up. Since we, this channel, and hopefully every other conscious channel is completely <laughs> gave up on the 3D world because they're, they're done. When I say they're done, you have to understand that they truly don't exist when you go up consciously. Okay? People who still focus on that, for example, people who still bitch and whine and complain about narcissists or external people in the world. If you are still focusing on that, that is where your mind is. That is where your state of consciousness is. What is that? Your mind is thinking about external energy. External. External. Now again, 
This is an entire galaxy. You do whatever you want. Everybody legitimately has their own experiences. So there is no judgment. But when we level up consciously and we start talking about molecules in the air and energy itself and the conscious field as a whole unit, it becomes very repulsive to see what is still being put out there. The illusions of life. What people think life is. Belief systems about good and evil, for example. Belief systems about why they were born. All sorts of things. And the higher you go up consciously, no shit, all these things break because you are consciousness itself. The energy field of the whole unit of now. The now that never dies and continues to live as an ant, as a roach, as a snake. You're not special. When I say you are not special, I'm talking about your fucking personality. Your identity entity, right? Now. When we level up 4D and people have still belief systems about Yes, yes, yes. I'm enlightened, they say. Another word. Now again, we're going up consciously. This is science-based on this upload today. However, everything I've been talking about as far as science. I become very cringy. Because where I'm at is like a whole different world, right? And... When I start talking about specific dimensions, I understand and I know how their mind works. And so I get a little, you know, and it's up to everybody who's watching to make these changes or not. You don't have to. Many times people don't. How many times Was a child born, for example, in a narcissistic household, just an example, just, we're not talking about me, just so you know. So many people, celebrities, people on YouTube maybe even, who knows, maybe your friends, they were born, for example, with a narcissistic or a lower dimensional parent. For example, a primitive religious parent who just cannot evolve at all no matter what they tell them they will stay in the construct they will stay in the belief systems they cannot go outside of it because they believe that god will punish them or they believe that the child who was born has to continue on the exact path because that's what they see outside in the 3d world if my whole neighborhood is these, for example, Bukharian primitive people, then they have to teach the new generation how to be just like them. And if they step out of that box, here comes abuse, here comes narcissism. Well, narcissism is by default abuse because they constantly need fuel to exist, correct? Correct. Now the child, some children, not all, but also that also happens gradually. So for example, you can have a child who maybe was abused into becoming some sort of mold of their parent in the 3D world. But that child, for instance, just came out of the mold for whatever reason. And they evolved maybe not wanting to be religious, you know, but when I talk about these things, we're still focusing on the 3D world. Some of these kids who are born, they don't want to be religious with their parents. They don't want to get married. Maybe they just like ran away from the house or whatever the case may be. These things always happen. Now, why do these things always happen? Can we, can we reflect back on energy here? Science? Majority of the human condition are telling you on YouTube that it's childhood wounds, it's trauma, it's abandonment issues, it's codependency, it's all this word, 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 word. Nobody's evolving. Nobody's understanding 
who they are. The child that ran away, for example, and did not want to suffocate the generational BS is because they did not want their physical body to experience this crampy energy. Hello. Religion, words, ego, personality, and labels is energy itself. And it co-creates the physical body to experience itself as the being. Religious people look at them. They're completely molded. Armies. They all look alike. There's no problem with that. But majority of the physical energies, let's get back to energy. 1D, 2D, 3D, 4D, 5D, and then we can start going up. Correct? Most people think, oh yeah, it's 5D. And then they just stay there like a bunch of clowns. No offense. If you take a look at everything that's going on, for example, on TV or in the wars or in the news or even on YouTube itself, it's a bunch of energies. Take a look, mofos. It's a bunch of energies pretending to be something. Pretty insane, isn't it? There's a whole cosmo outside full of different belief systems and energy fields and units and different dimensions, but most people choose to stay in 3D and be completely delusional, become robotic, animalistic, completely out of their mind, have no sense of self, their whole brain is completely fried, their eyes are like glossy as hell because they're not there at all. They're all a construct, a concept, something. Now, the way that they walk in the street, how they follow along, how they all, it's like, it, again, this army, almost like a cult. It's because that's their energy being programmed right now to be that way. So we're not really going to talk about 3D beings anymore. Let's, let's move on. That child that was uh, wanting to experience different things in life. Usually, it's because the energy of the field, of the individual, the energy source itself wants to experience higher dimensions, higher experiences in life. People who stay in 1D, 2D, 3D, mm, it's hard for them to evolve, as you can see. Even your favorite YouTubers who teach about narcissism. None of them evolved. It's pretty embarrassing. Now, when we get back to 4D, the religious belief systems, <clears throat> you must understand that everything is energy. If you don't know who you are as consciousness, you will always identify with your form, with your face, with your personality, with your ego, with belief systems, and what's happening outside and what everybody else is doing. That is called a follower. That is called consciousness that was... Now, if you really pay attention... Consciousness is energy. And people... The physical body was programmed for a long time to always see what others are doing and go along with it. And if they stepped out of that box, it would be a sin. But what nobody understands thus far as to consciousness itself is that it is just energy. And once your energy changes, ah, let me tell you, those dimensions truly don't exist in your world anymore because you evolved in dimension. It is what it is. Most physical bodies just don't understand how to work with who they are as consciousness. Now, we might lose the light here 
so I'm not getting up to turn the light on. We shall continue as the night forms, so called the night in the human eye. Let's talk 5D and move up scientifically. Five D consciousness, which most people crave to get to for some odd reason, everybody's talking about it like it's uh, it's like a brand new uh, fashion from three D to five D. They say, and it's like, yeah, mm hmm, yeah, mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm. What does that mean to you? And what are you gonna do with it? Very interesting stuff, isn't it? Lots of belief systems. No problem. Once you become consciousness in 5D, you are consciousness the unit, science itself. You're no longer a person, not even in your form. You are consciousness. You are now part of the galaxy. You're no longer a human puppet believing a structure. Do you understand? Most people are not conscious. Consciousness 5D. No. No. They believe that they are. They want to yap about the fact that they are. But they're not. Their energy doesn't prove that they are. Their so-called identity also proves that they're not. You see, consciousness is now one with the present moment. What does that even mean? You see, the average person on YouTube can sit down on this very chair and be completely detached from this experience and say, I'm human. I'm sitting in this room. What do you mean? Yeah. I'm human, they'll say. Yeah? Mm hmm. No. You know what consciousness says? This chair, this wall, this phone, this room, it's all me. One thing, one consciousness. There's no separation. There is no separation because you are now consciousness itself. You are not the dumb person who believes that they are a person. You are now the magnetic field of consciousness. Now you know, for example, and who knows, maybe you don't. You are now the energy of the Cosmo itself. So when you become consciousness, you are molecules in the air. You can attract in the present moment your right exact experiences. And you know why? Because everything outside is energy. You're not some fucking human anymore, right? You are now one with consciousness. So naturally you vibrate. You vibrate 5D. You vibrate as the unit of science now. Thoughts, feelings, and emotions, very, very powerful tools. Now you become, now that you are conscious, consciousness 5D, any thought or feeling or emotion always presents itself right outside the energetic field because you are now consciousness. Pay attention, everything is science. This is not your usual human stupid story. Lots of people walk around with a lot of thoughts, beliefs, and all types of stuff. That's their level of consciousness. 
if they choose to upgrade, it's time to shed those disgusting thoughts now because it's still energy. But let's forget about 5D consciousness. Let's go up. Start picturing what I'm saying. Everything is energy. You can no longer see people as people. You can no longer see cars as cars. You can no longer see life itself as some sort of object or an image or an item that you can touch. Everything is moving energy. Different 3D forms. As consciousness, you see yourself in all things. Yourself, consciousness, all things consciousness, the unit that constantly moves all around, every second, every day, all the time. For example, you have celebrities who are rapping, singing, performing. They're not people. Maybe to the 3D world, they're people. Oh, look, it's Eminem, it's Cardi B. No, it's actually energy. It's Cardi B's energy. It's Eminem's energy. Moving around, doing its thing. Some people see it as 3D. But the higher you go up in consciousness, everything starts to look like a battery. Negative, positive, energy. What am I trying to tell you? Anybody want to write it down in the comment section? What am I trying to tell you? And who is you? This is not a personality based channel. Energy. When you walk outside past 5D, everything's always the dream state. You are consciousness. Are you going to walk around with these obsessive thoughts? Or are you going to validate that you are part of the big energetic cosmo of the now.